2023 will see the return of one of the greatest prototype rivalries of all time, Audi versus Porsche. But it seems they may not be the only two manufacturers under the Volkswagen Group stable to compete in the new LMDH category. Lamborghini has been heavily rumored to make a 2024 debut, and Bentley's name has been tossed around for a potential return around the same time. Whether or not we get the additions of Lamborghini and Bentley are yet to be seen, but it seems that any of these manufacturers will be related by more than just their family tree. Today I'm going to talk about a little something I like to call the VW LMDH Common Platform. First things first, what is this platform exactly? In short, the idea centers around all LMDH manufacturers under the VW Group umbrella running the same chassis and the same engine. More specifically, the next generation Multimatic LMP2 chassis and a 4 liter twin turbo V8. I should mention that the common powertrain has not yet been confirmed, but a strong majority of leading sports car racing publications are confident that it will be the case. Before I explain why this common platform exists in the first place, a quick refresher on the LMDH regulations. The new top tier prototype class will be joining the Le Mans hypercars in the fight for overall wins starting in 2023. They are largely similar to IMSA's current crop of DPI cars, with an LMP2 chassis, manufacturer engines, and bespoke bodywork. New for the LMDH regulations is the addition of a spec hybrid unit, good for around 50 horsepower. The primary advantage of the LMDH formula over its hypercar counterparts is the reduction in costs required to run a program. The hypercar category offers manufacturers extreme flexibility for their powertrain, chassis, and aerodynamics, while the LMDH category is more limited in individual manufacturer expression in favor of lower costs. The concept of two, three, even four manufacturers running the same chassis and engine will likely come as a huge disappointment to many people. I too would have loved to see Lamborghini go all out and throw a V12 powered prototype onto the table, or for an Audi V10 to be competing for overall wins. Y yeah, I've been on that one since 2017. But take a moment to recall the primary advantage to LMDH that I mentioned. Cost saving. It shouldn't be a surprise that multiple manufacturers using the same chassis and powertrain platform helps to drive down costs across the board. In an era where Formula One, IndyCar, NASCAR, and more have attempted to garner new manufacturer interest by reducing the amount of money manufacturers would need to compete under their new formulas, it isn't surprising that a parent group decided to give its manufacturers a unified package to fight for overall wins at some of the world's largest sports car races. Beyond saving money, a common platform eliminates the need for these manufacturers to carry out heavy amounts of research and development, because they'll each be using the same powertrain. Because they'll each be using the same powertrain, any reliability or performance issues that arise could theoretically be resolved across the entire lineup, potentially giving the VW group as a whole a competitive advantage over their rivals. Of course the cars won't be entirely identical to each other, as the LMDH regulations put a large emphasis on manufacturer bodywork and styling cues, so although the VW entries may share the same chassis, the aerodynamics of each car will be different. And I for one am hoping we get that Lamborghini confirmation, because I'd love to see what their designers could do with a modern Le Mans prototype as their slate. Interestingly enough, this is not the first time that Volkswagen utilized a common platform for multiple manufacturers in prototype racing. In 2001, Bentley returned to Le Mans to compete for the overall win with the EXP Speed 8. Powering that car was the same exact 3.6 liter turbocharged V8 from the dominant Audi R8 at the time. In 2002, the engine was modified with an increase to 4 liters, and they famously won the 2003 24 Hours of Le Mans for the first time in 73 years. Should Audi and Porsche be joined by Lamborghini and Bentley, the 4 liter twin turbo V8 is an engine that shares heritage across each of their road going lineups. Each of these manufacturers uses the same specification in at least one of their cars for sale, so the road relevance is still there. But what do you think? Are you in favor of this common platform idea, in favor of more manufacturers? Or would you rather see fewer entries, but more diversity across the field? Let me know in the comments below. You can support the channel by giving the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and by subscribing if you want more content like this in the future. As always, you can find me on Twitter, or the channel Discord. Both are linked in the description. Until next time, take care, and I hope to see you in the next video.